Billy, come down and see what Santa brought you. Oh boy, oh boy, what could it be? A Titan television? Neato! That's not any television, Billy. Well, well, Baxter, I know it can't just be any, because Santa only delivers Titan televisions. That's right, Billy. Well, this isn't any plain great Titan. This is a color TV. A color TV? What's that, Baxter? Well, I'll show you. You see, Billy, like any television, a color TV is also a CRT. But how can that be true when CRT stands for Color Receiving Television and got our old outdated set is a Titan 1 black and white? Because that doesn't receive color, how can it be a CRT? <laughs> oh, Billy, you lovable idiot. CRT stands for Cathode Ray Tube. Cathode Ray Tube? What's that? Let me get in a word once in a while, then I'd tell you. A cathode is a negatively charged filament in the back of your TV set. When you turn that set on, the cathode heats up and releases electrons. Are you following me so far? Billy? Billy? Huh? Oh, oh yeah, Baxter, I'm sorry, I was just distracted by this Christmas ball. Yeah, you would be. The electrons are negative, and after floating around in a vacuum, they get attracted to the positive anodes. Now, there are two anodes in a television. The first one is a focusing anode, which takes the electrons and compresses them into a beam. This beam is then shot out of the accelerating anode where... Billy, are you listening? The rocket takes off and Commander Billy says goodbye to the Earth as he prepares to land on the moon! Billy, trust me, NASA will never let you go to the moon, much less near a rocket. Now, they are accelerated to... You, you know what, Baxter? You're always putting me down and... Maybe I know a thing or two about TVs. Oh, really, Billy? Well, enlighten me, then. Uh, okay, uh, they, uh, get, uh, um, here you go. That's why I thought. Now, beams get accelerated to the screen. The screen has a special phosphor coating on it with- Oh, stood a luminescence! Uh, uh, yes. Uh, now, do you know what colors the phosphors on the screen are? That's all I got. Uh, okay, then. The phosphors are red, blue, and green. There are thousands of them, separated into miniature strips or dots on the TV. When they're lit up, they create the optical illusion that there is actually a picture there. But Baxter, it doesn't seem like what you're telling me should work that way. Wouldn't there need to be three cathodes and maybe some other things to create the picture? Yes, Billy. There are three cathodes in a color set. And there are more things to it than just that. There is also the shadow mask, which has a whole bunch of holes in it, over 200,000 which assures that the beams get to the right spot. But before that, on the outside of the whole system, there are several magnetized wires which guide the beams into the holes of the shadow mask. So Baxter, how do these wires know where to guide the beams? How does the TV broadcast its shows? Well, Billy, they receive a signal from, oh, any channel, let's say, uh, GBC, the global broadcasting company, with such great shows as I Dated a Yak, Me and My Giant Invisible Elephant, and a dinner with the Donner Party. And we should also take this time to mention that GBC is the parent company of Titan Televisions, and we love their great family-oriented programming. We certainly do, Billy. We certainly do. So, GBC sends your new Titan color television a uh, signal, much like the radio or your and Timmy down the streets walkie-talkies. But you remember when we went on that family vacation down to the beach and I taught you all about waves? Of course! It was the worst family vacation ever. Well, your personal opinions aside, Billy, all those signals relate to waves, and those waves relate to colors in the signal. It all becomes a matter of amplitude. Yellow has a 15 degree amplitude. Red has a 75 degree amplitude. Magenta has a 135 degree amplitude. Blue has a 195 degree amplitude. Cyan has 255 degree amplitude. And green has a 315 degree amplitude. So, the amplitude of the signal tells the TV which color to make. Exactly, Billy. Billy, it's time for church. Hurry and get dressed. Now will be a great time to teach you about the Protestant Reformation, Billy. Um, maybe later, Baxter. Oh, well, uh, uh okay then. Ted, how much damage did that elephant do? Fifteen billion dollars. 
But I don't think anyone saw him. Thank <laughs> you.